Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is how to set up the eight outputs on the Tascam US16X08. So first I've opened up the Ableton Live light, and I'm gonna first go up to the top of the screen here at the left and click on Options. Then I'm gonna go down the list to the bottom and click on Preferences. Then in the Preferences window that's now appeared, I'm gonna click on Audio, which is the second tab. And then under Audio Device here, you see it's got the US 16X08. And just below that is this Output Config. Now, if you click on the Output Config, you'll see that these outputs have come and there's the mono outputs and here's the stereo outputs. And you wanna make sure that they're all highlighted. So they're all active. Once you've made sure that they're all active, you can click on the OK at the bottom of the screen. Then that's all I need to do inside the Preferences window. So at the top right of the Preferences window, I'm going to click on the X to close it. And now with the actual tracks themselves, I want to set them so that they are going to use the outputs on the Tascam. And this is done by this section down here where it says Audio 2. And at the moment, they all read master. So my first two tracks are drum tracks. So I'm going to come down here where it says master and click on that. And I'm going to click on EXT out. And then you'll see this window here, or rather this list here appears, drop down list. And if you click on that, you'll see that you've got the first four are the stereo outputs for the Tascam, and the next eight are the mono outputs for the Tascam. And for the drums, I want to use the first two tracks because I'm going to run the drums through in stereo. So I'm going to click on the one, two. And I'm going to do the same on the second track because that's drum track as well. Click on EXT out and select the stereo one, two. Now I don't know at this point what my Tascam outputs are gonna be. So I don't know what speakers I'm gonna to connect to those outputs at the moment. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna run through and literally use the outputs in this drop down list as they come. So for these next two tracks, they are guitar. So I'm gonna set them up on stereo track as well, so that's EXT out. And now I'm gonna use the three, four for those. Now the next track I've got is a bass guitar track and that is gonna go out in mono. So I'm gonna click on master, click on EXT out, and I'm gonna go down to the mono ones which are, which are down here. And I've used the first four in the previous track, so I'm going to click on 5. So I'm going to use mono 5 for the bass guitar. The vocals, once again, I'm going to use just a single track, so I'm going to change that from master to EXT out, and then I'm going to go down and use the next available, which is 6. So that's on mono 6. Now the last two tracks are synthesizers, and I'm going to put them on a stereo track, so stereo outputs, so EXT out, and I'm gonna set those to seven and eight. So that's all the tracks set up now, and they just literally run one to eight straight across. Now the other thing that I did for my main video is to set up my Vortex Wireless 2 so that I could use the pads to switch on and off the different tracks. So what I did there was I linked up the pads to this thing here, which is a track activator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my Vortex. Then I'm going to go up to the top right of the screen and click on MIDI. So everything that now gets highlighted in this purpley blue color is something that can be used for MIDI 
and this effectively is in a MIDI learn function here. So I'm going to click on the first of these track activators and I'm going to click on the first pad on my vortex. And you'll now see that up in this section here, which says MIDI Mappings, this is the MIDI Mappings window, and you'll see that it's now been added to the MIDI Mappings window. I'm going to click on the second one. Click on the second pad on the vortex. And I'm just going to do that right across all the track activators and the vortex pads. And now that I've got the eight pads set up over here for the eight tracks, I'm going to go back over to the right, click on MIDI again. So that switches off the MIDI learn function. And that's me done in Ableton Live Lite. All I would need to do now is to click on File and click on Save Live Set. So now I've opened up the Tascam US 16x08 settings panel. And the first thing I need to do is click on the third tab, which is the Output Setting tab. And the bit I'm interested in is this bit over here where it says Line Out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, and eight. Now I've set up my speakers now so I know what speakers are connected to which of these line outs. So my first line out here is connected to the speaker that is going to be used for my bass guitar. So I'm going to go over to here next to where it says Master L and click on this little arrow. And in this drop down box, I'm going to select Computer 5. And that is the same as the EXT OUT 5 that I used in Ableton Live. My line OUT 2 is going to be used for my vocals. And I set that to EXT OUT 6 in Ableton Live Lite. So I'm going to go down here now and click on Computer 6. My line out three and four are set up for the drums. So I'm going to set that to what I did in Ableton, which is computer one, computer two, five and six. I'm now using for my guitar as the stereo output. So that's going to be three and four as it was in Ableton. And the last two. Seven and eight are going to be used for the synthesizers. And in Ableton, I used seven and eight for the synthesizers. So they're going to stay exactly as they are. Now, I could have set Ableton Live Lite up with exactly the same outputs here. So I could have set up bass guitar, for instance, in Ableton Live with line out one. And then I wouldn't have needed to do all this changing around as such or just being able to go computer one computer two computer three but i've set it up this way because i wanted you to see that it's possible to set up everything in ableton and then change it here if you need to so you can send something to a different speaker through the tascam settings without having to change anything inside your door So finally, I've got the Vortex Wireless 2 preset editor open. And in the preset editor, what I did there to set up my pads was I set all the pads to CC toggle. I set the on to 127.
The actual channel itself doesn't matter which channel it is, but you'll notice the CC number for each one is different. The off is set to zero, which is what it was already on. And the only other thing that I did was in colors, I set pad one to blue, which represents when the track is switched off. And I switched pad color four to orange. And that way I know when my pads are switched on and therefore the track is on. And I know when I've switched them off. Then once I've finished, I just clicked on file, send preset, and that was it.